um welcome back to the for you podcast today we have a very very special guest we have the man the myth the legend classify how are you doing today hello uh doing a lot better feel feel really informed i know everything <laughs> about diabetes now so <laughs> Uh, we out here learning a new snapple fact every day yes i am i'm the definition of a snapple fact or a snapple cap uh yeah you're the, you're the wikipedia yeah i'm the wikipedia of diabetes um yeah me and me and classified just had a great conversation uh before the podcast started about about a lot of stuff um and it, it was very it was very nice uh but now uh during this podcast we are we're gonna get into the the serious stuff the serious part of classify because i don't know i don't know if a ton of people have got to see this uh as much as as your twitter persona um as the (laughs) the memer i was like guess we'll see you this dude's about to so why did it hurt in seventh grade (laughs) when your mom didn't show up at the parent teacher (laughs) conference (laughs) i'm like what Mm. uh I, I know you, you know, uh, a lot of people know you from Twitter, um, but since you became a creator, uh, who, who's someone that uh, has gave you some like great advice on how, how to be a creator? Oof, be a creator. There's not a lot of people that really helped me, to be honest. Like you think like living in LA, being on hundred T, like there's like, like i actually like love when people teach if that makes sense like mm-hmm. i like i like i wish some big creator just like came to me and was like this is your youtube video or like this is like do this and like try to make this like you see this is working do that but sadly like i really just didn't have anyone that like does that mm-hmm. for me or so like kind of just do stuff on my own but what i did do a lot and like kind of like look for inspiration uh mr beast literally just like he knows exactly what he's doing like i i really really like his podcast like any podcast like any podcast there is on youtube of him even talking about something like i probably watched it like three times just because like before bed he's like when he like when when i think of youtube there's people that like make really good youtube videos like you know like david dobrik whatever like like yes theory they make like very good youtube videos but like mr beast lives and breathes youtube like Mm -hmm. he only cares about youtube like like any podcast he talks about he's like yeah like like he's like all i do is just think about youtube 24 7 i'm like i like that i'm like and then like just every tip he gives with thumbnails whether it's like tags whether it's like video title video content i'm like i just tried to really soak that in and just follow like the same like outline he puts out like kind of like for example like not to like click there's a lot of clickbait videos and like yeah that's awesome like sure like it'll get you views but like how long can it really get you views like i'd rather his best advice was like just title the video what really happens if you like took a took a bath in a thousand orbies name it took a bath in a thousand or like just name it exactly what it is keep it simple and then just do the content like make good content and and put out the video i'm like i really like took that because i'm like i used to be like oh you know you want to have like a mysterious title like Mm -hmm. she she like like i remember i one of my vlogs was like nature did what like something (laughs) like that and then um (laughs) And I'm like, I looked at him, I'm like, because he was like, the biggest difference is someone, there's a difference between telling people what they're about to watch and and the mysterious, like, curiosity thing. Like, someone sees the title, they're like, eh, I don't really know what happens, I don't really care. Mm-hmm. But if you tell them what's happening, they might be like, well, I kind of want to watch that now. So I'm like, I'm like, I, I could definitely like, see, like, that was, like, one of the biggest, like, advice things that I, I, like, really paid attention, like, really try to, like, perfect my stuff on. But realistically if someone that like if i was to name someone it would probably be courage uh just because when it comes to youtube like he's also like a very very hard worker and anytime we're on like a hundred t shoot which we do like a good amount pre-covid like we did a lot more than now but like uh i'd be recording like behind the scenes because no one really records that's the one thing i'm like no one records like a hundred thieves behind the scenes uh when we do like the content house videos and stuff so i'm like that's a great like way for me to kind of just like you Mm -hmm. know like uh the basketball players do like in the bubble or or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So like, uh, you get to see what it's like for NBA players behind the scenes of their like actual like games and stuff. So I'm like on a hundred thieves, no one really vlogs the actual videos we record, like the behind the scenes. So I'm like, I'm like, that's a good gap for me to fill. Cause like, where else are people going to get the behind the scenes, like footage of like, 
Valkyrie and Curry is just joking around back set or something like that. So I'm like, that, that, that's like a good demographic, if anything, like for me, because no one's filling the role. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, when I started doing that, Courage was like, like he was just giving me like advice. He's like, you should do this or or bring your vlog camera here, record this. And just in general, like kind of with like YouTube and stuff, like he's just been giving me like good tips. So throughout like me growing. So I'd say like he's the closest to, and even then, like that's what I'm saying. I'm like, he gave those tips, but like that's like once in a while when we have our videos. So I'm like, no one really like helped me out in 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 looking at my content or like like really giving like a like major every video tips. So I'm like just kind of had to learn my own, and uh, slowly slowly learning, slowly learning. Yeah, I got I got kind of pissed the other day. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I did my talent show. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. I did a talent show. Yes. Had Schlatt, Mings, Frosty as host. Posted the video. The video did decent. Like it did, it did pretty good. It, like for for my channel anyway. Like I average like it's like 10k views a video, like 11k. And the video was at like 15 to like 20k. And I'm like, wow, it's doing pretty good. And boom, in the last two three days, it went to 32,000 views. And I'm like, wow, like it's doing really like I thought 32,000 views. I'm like, that's great for my channel. That's like the fifth most watched video on my channel. I'm like, that that's like amazing. And then I look and I'm like, someone someone tweets me like. Oh yeah, someone posted a 40 second clip from the talent show because my I put the vo- like I put like an edited vod so like mm-hmm. it was like 20 minutes of the whole talent show I'm like bunch of content in that video all everything nice and so I was like yeah someone posted a 40 second clip of some dude in a monkey suit just like woo woo ah! like and then they're like on YouTube I'm like really I'm like they're like yeah it has 1.5 million views and I'm like. I'm like, I'm over here getting hype about my 30,000. <laughs> the guy took 40 seconds from the YouTube video. I uploaded it, uploaded it to his channel. He got 1.5 million <laughs> views. And I'm like, just in there like, man, I was so sad. I'm like, bro, if I posted that clip, like that would have been like, that would have put my channel into like, cause I gained like 400 subs from one, from that YouTube video and it has mm-hmm. 30 K views. I'm like, imagine 1.5 million. <laughs> like I just felt so defeated. I'm like, dude, like that's so sad. But I'm like, it is what it is. I'm like, look at the bright. I have to always look at the bright side. I'm like, it's, as much as it sucks, as much as like, I regretted that I didn't post that clip, because it, it literally is of my content. But like, I'm like, I guess it helps me in a way because his video blew up and people saw that, so they see yeah. me and they see. It. So I'm like, you just gotta look at the bright side. Because uh, people were like, oh, you should flag it, take it down. And I'm like, I'm like, at that point, like, what's the like? I I don't I don't know why people do that. You know, like, I'm like, mm-hmm. what's the point of that? Because I'm like, then no one gains anything. Like, what do I gain from taking the video down? It's not like they're going to come to me and watch mine. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, basically that. Um, Damn, I kind of just rambled on for Mad Long. No, you're good. You're good. That's what, <laughs> that's what the podcast is here for. Um, Is that, have you tried uh, YouTube shorts at all? Or is that something that you have looked into? Yes, I actually have. And that clip kind of pushed me to the edge of making one. I'm mm-hmm. like, I think I'm going to be making a new YouTube channel literally just for like straight. And I'm not even because usually like I'm not going to lie. I care about my content a lot. So before I post anything, I like make sure the thumbnail is good. Make sure the title is good. Make sure the video is good. I'm like, I don't think I'm going to care anything for that. I think I'm just going to upload like literally just like eight clips a day. Just like mm-hmm. random clips. Obviously like they'll, they'll have to be good clips. I'm not yeah. just posting like me sitting here picking my nose or something. <laughs> but like uh, they'll have to be like good clips. But like I want to post anything and everything on that channel. So like anyone that finds it could just like scroll through just funny clips. Like yeah. probably like all the TikToks I post could just go on there. Mm-hmm. And and just stuff like that. Like I'm like I think, I think it'd be like a really good idea. Because I heard the shorts like shorts on YouTube are like popping off right now they're they're not yeah. i mean i've had i had a short I, I don't really do a whole lot of numbers but i had a short go over a thousand views and mm-hmm. then a couple go over like 400 with i mean anything that works on tiktok pretty much works on shorts at this point um yeah I, sure. I i know a couple people who have gotten a, a couple tick or a couple shorts over a million um views Jeez. so i think that's, that's i think that's something that that people at least you for sure but i think everyone should should be hopping on that no i definitely want to just make like a see i have a question so if i make like a like a second youtube channel for shorts is like what is a short like is that like a specific category or can i just still post like regular long videos on that channel too no you can you can if you wanted to do it on your own um on your own youtube i mean i would i a lot of people make second youtubes but 
when you like if you go on the youtube app yeah and then like there will be this it's called it just says shorts beta and then there it'll be on here so that that's a short of mine so um mm. so you could still post shorts to your regular channel yeah they're just shorter videos again mm -hmm. so like what's the difference between me posting how does it know it's a short if that makes like what if i post a okay. one minute long youtube video to my youtube channel mm -hmm. is that a short uh no so shorts i'm pretty sure are under 30 seconds okay so um, let's say i post a 29 second youtube <laughs> video to my channel um you i mean i guess i guess that would be considered a short and would be put in the the shorts algorithm uh a lot of people use hashtag short and the thing they mm. say you need to use hashtag short i don't know if that's necessarily a like a prerequisite or whatever to get it in the shorts algorithm mm -hmm. um but it seems to to just be any video that i don't know if it's necessarily the format or if it has to be the the whatever like the the phone format that it like a tiktok is yeah. um I don't know if it's necessarily that or if it's the length or hashtags or something like that. I don't know, but I would okay. I would assume I would assume that it could possibly go in there. But it's okay. it's also like just scrolling like a TikTok. I haven't really I've never scrolled through shorts ever. Yeah, me neither <laughs> so. at all. I was like I just know people talk about it on Twitter and stuff, so I'm like, all right, that's cool. But no, yeah, I'll definitely I definitely want to look into it because I think <clears throat> those like pages because i'm like i know me and if i found it let's just say there's like a i don't know miskiff and i'm like there's like a funny video of him and i'm like it's like 20 seconds i'm like that was kind of funny and i'm gonna want to watch like yeah. more and just like keep mm -hmm. scrolling so i'm like i think shorts have like a, a huge like i don't know i guess community for it mm -hmm. i think so. i i to take what you just said to uh to to another level i think that's super important for for people who are um like maybe just starting out or whatever and and putting out content uh because i always i always say like if your videos aren't getting like views or anything and if you just keep uploading and that that one that finally gets recognition then people have this backlog of content and so much content to go through and they can they'll have that ability because i do that all the time with like i just did it i just discovered ludwig like not to, like when he started the subathon i went through and watched so many because he has so many so much content the dude is insane and i think that's something that a lot of people need to be doing is just grinding out that content for that one time that it gets recognition then everyone can just go back and watch your content true very true no yeah i think so too that Lud Ludwig thing is insane. Yeah. <laughs> With the subathon, he's like still going, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's that's a, a different breed that I don't think I could ever, ever touch. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I know it's like hard, but it's really not. Like, it's like you just keep it on and you just do the same stuff you've been mm -hmm. doing. Like, like realistically, like it's just like the same cycle over and over again. It's just like how long you could really do it. Does that make sense? But like, yeah. it, it is like kind of just like very the same you know what i mean like you wake up it's not like he's like awake for 22 days like he's just go he goes to sleep on stream mm -hmm. the, the he plays movies whatever and then like you just wake up you play a video game you do some just chatting you go back to bed just repeat yeah over and over so yeah. i think it's just more of like an endurance game and like how much things you could do the same day every day type yeah. thing than more more than like a like imagine it was like non-stop events like that'd be hard like events like actual like things that he's like hosting like that'd be like that'd be impossible yeah. 22 days of just straight events would be hard as hell yeah um is there so when it when it comes to content is there things that you believe that you need to work on and like what what is what are things like what are the focus points of of your content right now uh honestly i do need well, the focus point, I've been really, really focusing on Twitch for the last, like, two months. I've never really, like, grinded Twitch as hard as I have in the last two months. Like, I think I've been live every day for at least five to eight hours. And, like, and like just in general, just to kind of, like, I don't know, build my community up on there. But 
what I would like to focus on is YouTube. Like YouTube has always been my like, I like YouTube more than Twitch, mm -hmm. but yeah. Twitch is, I guess, more important because as, mu as much as it sucks, like I wish I could be a full-time YouTuber. I can't because it takes, for one, like I pay editors and I pay like a lot of like, like my editors and thumbnail artists, whatever. I'm like, for me right now, YouTube is just money out. It's just money out. Like all I do is lose hundreds of dollars per video, mm -hmm. but I love like making the video and stuff. So I'm like, I still do it, but that's what Twitch is for to like kind of reimburse me. If that makes sense. Like I, I grind on Twitch, make the money and then just spend it on YouTube. Like basically just like a cycle of just spending my own money back on my content. So I'm like, that's what kind of like uh, that's for. And plus Twitch is kind of cool because like you're live and you can like actually interact. On YouTube, you put a video, just comments. You're like, okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, what I really want to focus on being more consistent on YouTube. That's my one thing. Cause I'm like, I'm very like, I w I'm just like a very inconsistent. Cause I want the YouTube videos to be really good. And I don't want to just put like, cause I, I can make a vlog a day. Like just kind of just talking, like, you know what I mean? Like just like talking like, hey guys, like today I went and just take them to like the grocery store. But I'm like, I don't know how much people would enjoy that even though like half my audience is like do that like just mm -hmm. just talk about like just you know like a video doesn't have to be like crazy you could just like record a vlog of you going to the store and just talk about life whatever like talk about your day like because you know like back then you, you watch the phase vlogs yeah yeah like back then you, you know what i'm talking about like like uh phase rain just like they literally picked up a camera and be like a four minute video of him just talking about random stuff or mm -hmm. like banks or like adapt like they they literally just talked about like uh embos like optic maniac like they would just pick up the camera and be like oh we're going to the store today and just like just like a random like in the car type vlog and i'm like i'm like i really want to do those but i feel like that's the most like <laughs> to other people i feel like why would they want to watch like you know what i mean mm -hmm. i'm like that's why i'm like i try to make every video like at least like content based and that's the another thing i learned from beast uh he just always said like i really like took to heart the thing that he's like if you want a video to do really good take like for example you could post 10 videos a month or you could post one video in one month it, it or my phone i worded it wrong he's like would you rather get would you rather post 15 videos a month and get like 10,000 views a video or would you rather post one video a month and get 500,000 views like you know what i mean like just or like 100,000 views just like i'm like you rather post the one video because that means it was like a really good video mm -hmm. if that makes sense so i'm like I like really took that to like consideration. I'm like, I really should work better on that. Does that make sense? Like, like I like put content before anything before like quantity, like quality over quantity. Everyone always says it, but sometimes I don't know. Cause I'm like, I'm a small YouTube channel. So I'm like, sometimes I'm like, maybe quantity is better. Like posting more, you know what I mean? So I'm like, it just depends on which route you take really. I don't know. What's your yeah. opinion on that? I think, um, I think there's, experimental states um i've had uh, conversations with people who especially uh, i think it depends on the platform i think youtube uh is more crucial for quality um when it comes to like those really like good well well versed videos um that do the a hundred thousand instead of 10 videos that do a ten thousand mm. uh, i think it's really important for that because like when i think of people who i don't do you know the youtube channel mark rober he does like science yeah, yeah the science stuff yeah, yeah, yeah he does he does one video a month mm -hmm. but they're like you know he does six months of planning and like has like six months of footage like there's that but then when it comes to like tiktok i think like a platform like that or you know youtube shorts or just these short form contents i think there's you could do a, like quantity for a long time and see what works and then narrow that down to quality on that specific, you know, yeah. corner. Yeah. Um, and I don't that's think that's what, Oh, my fault. Since no, I was like, no, you're good, you're that's good. what I've been, I think TikTok. I've been doing like pretty well. So I'm like, I'm like on TikTok. I haven't really like posted, like I started posting a lot more consistently, but I did like this one like interview yeah. type. Yeah, I was like interview type theme and it popped off. It got like 12 million views. So I'm like, let me just try it again. So I tried it again and it got like 4 million. I'm like, and then obviously like I don't average millions. I average like <laughs> maybe like a, like a couple hundred thousand. So I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Let me just stick to the theme and then see if it works. And I post another one. It got like 
I think 200,000. So I'm like, all right, that one went a little lower. I posted another one, I got like 2 million. So I'm like, I'm like, all, people like themes, if that makes sense. Like you, you watch one video of a guy, for example, doing a magic trick and you're like, you're like, you watch the magic trick and you're like, I want to go to his page to see if he has more magic tricks. <laughs> yeah. You go to his page and he's like doing yoga. You're not going to care about that. You know mm. what I mean? You watched it for the magic trick. So if the magic trick TikTok popped off, you got to like just do more because obviously people like it. So same thing with YouTube. It's like, um, uh, this is what sucks. Cause I'm like, like the mob broke up and all that. So I'm like, I'm no one to prank. I was like before, <laughs> like every prank video I did that I posted to my YouTube was like, it did really good. And I loved making those, but I'm like, I'm like now, uh, there's not really anything to like prank. So I'm like, you know, can't really do that. Oh, some got in my eye. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was pretty funny cause, uh, an IRL had like sent me your TikTok, <laughs> and, and I was like, oh my, like I knew cause I had to sell it on my, my for you page. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I, I obviously know who that is. And then, and then I got, got it sent to me and I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know if you know who that is, but, and then, I mean, now we're here. So that, that was, that was kind hey, of like a crazy, crazy It's actually pretty me. funny. You should send the IRL like, uh, like a clip of me and you talking <laughs> and then just be like, remember that one guy you sent me from the for you page? Like, look at this. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny as hell. Um, yeah, I just, I, I. I think I love how you because uh, I did the same thing with like Mr. Beast, like going back to that um, mm. when it came to like just soaking up every single thing that he said, because he's super I feel like he's super calculated mm. when it came to. And I feel the same way about dream when it comes to like this guy knows like he studies, he he soaks up content around him. He knows what works. He knows how to do things. And I think it's like super uh like admirable about about what they do with their craft and being in, yeah. I mean, they're worlds above, but being in the same space, like trying to do the same thing that they're doing, it's incredible the way that they can just, they just get it, you know? Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. And that's when, that's when I'm like, ah, oh, dude, if I like could just have like, you just, just force one of them to have like a dinner with me to just explain <laughs> everything I'm doing wrong. And just like, bro, cause imagine like how much intel they could give you if they just, looked over maybe like five of your videos or and like just like in general just like looked at your content and just actually gave you like tips that's why i'm like like people don't realize but like that's why like all those minecraft circles are bl blowing up because like half of them literally say like oh yeah like he gave me tips on this like dream mm -hmm. gave me tips on this or like dream helped me with this or like and then dreams like mr beast helped me with it <laughs> like it's all like a cycle and i'm like if you could just get like someone to just help you or like like give you like a good major tip to like kind of like perfect your craft i'm like i bet like anyone could just like with the right content explode if that makes sense yeah i um i know we talked about it before but i i had a conversation with with uh blaze about he he looked over my stuff and like told me what i should be working on and then even after that like obviously i didn't blow up but after that i saw just like an incredible shift in in numbers and like what he told me um he he was one of the people who told me about the he was like just focus on quantity right now on tiktok like on tiktok because mm. you know he's got like two million on his main account on tiktok so like he mm -hmm. gets he gets tiktok um so i i think i would love like obviously to sit down i mean anyone would with mr beast and get that yeah. but i think i think more people need need advice like that i wish you did more podcasts yeah it's kind of annoying like how little podcasts there are yeah. of him. like i'm like bro you're a content creator i mean like that's not like dissing him but i'm like i'm like i really just wish he did more because i'm like it's the same like five podcasts that i'm like i'm like it's not enough like the last yeah. podcast this was a, he did was like maybe like courage and nature show or something like months ago so i'm like what what i have been doing i don't know if like you you've been in it or not but uh the the room i forgot the name of it the rooms the the voice channel rooms oh uh i'm like i'm like blanking on the name for some reason clubhouse? yeah clubhouse yeah no he's been doing a lot of those and i'm like I, i've actually been like enjoying those uh he's, he did like i think like three or four in the last couple months so i'm like those are pretty cool because like he only talks about youtube on there Mm -hmm. so i'm like that's so so i'm like i think clubhouse is gonna 
no one really knows about it right now. Like, I feel like people, a lot of people know about it, but like, it's not as big. Like, no one's out here just like, you know how everyone's like, oh, did you see his stream or did you see this? Mm -hmm. Like, no one's just like, oh, I just listened to the clubhouse <laughs> meeting. Like, no one's like just sitting there promoting it. But I'm like, I'm like, I think, I think it's going to be huge. Like, I think it's mm -hmm. going to be like very, because I'm like, it's like Discord, but for like everyone in life, if that makes sense. Because mm -hmm. there's like, uh britney spears on it and stuff <laughs> like you have rappers on it it's just like very 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 like just a good uh like just like a good platform i guess is that like a invite only thing or can you just download it no yeah you just download you literally just download uh the app and then um it, it tells you like people to follow like if you want and you can literally just follow mr beast so anytime he goes into a meeting uh, it'll be on top of your screen, like Mr. Beast and 90 others in this uh, room, and you can just join the room. I'm I'm downloading it right no, now. No, as you, as you <laughs> should, I, and it's like there's so much more. Like uh, there was one with uh, uh Elon Musk, like he was one, he was in one. Uh, I think there was another big person, Soldier Boy was in one. <laughs> like that was kind of funny. It was just yeah. like a rap one, but they have in general just like really cool rooms for just anything you might need. It's literally like a podcast. But like for anything you need, they have rooms with jazz music just playing twenty four seven, and then they have like uh, rooms with uh, stock markets and stuff like oh, just like the top stock traders, I guess, just talking about like what they think is gonna happen. Just like very like helpful. That's why I'm like I think it's gonna explode. Like everyone's been using it lately, just like but it's like low key because no one really knows about it. Mm -hmm. So I think once people find out, it'll be like a really useful thing. Yeah. I think I think that's super dope. I I mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of stuff about it. I know like Keemstar does mm -hmm. some stuff with Mr. Beast. Yeah, with Mr. Beast. No, oh, yeah. I was like, it's crazy because Keemstar like knows about everything before it happens. Like it's <laughs> so weird. Like that man, that man's just in a cabin in New York somewhere, just like fucking the profit, bro. Because yeah, I'm like, he he knew about Dogecoin. He actually told me to buy. This is this is so funny. In <laughs> December of 2020, he was like tweeting about dogecoin i'm like i looked at it that was when dogecoin keep in mind right now it's worth half a penny it's worth like half a penny and that's when it was worth like 0 0.008 so half a penny is just 0 0.05 so like and then it was it was worth like literally like one tenth of that so i he's like trust me it will take you like a thousand dollars but buy buy like a hundred thousand a hundred thousand quantity of it like it, it's gonna explode i bought a hundred thousand and then boom it exploded i'm like bro he he made me some he made me some rags i'm not gonna lie like, like he made me like an easy eight thousand dollars so i'm like i'm like he just knows about stuff before it happens so i'm like as much as everyone hates his ass i'm like <laughs> i'm like bro like he just be knowing stuff i'm like yeah, like he's a smart dude yeah he, so it's like kind of crazy I, I, I remember seeing a tweet that he told like phase apex to buy bitcoin like back in the day yeah and yeah. it's like now now it's like that 30, would be yeah fifty thousand. what am i saying 30 no yeah it's insane yeah it's actually like nutty i think i think he's super smart as well like i he's i very do smart like as much like like you said as much as mm. people like to to yeah know, I mean, well-deserved, too. Sometimes he's a fucking dick, but <laughs> I was, like, very well-deserved. Like, he kind of puts the, the, whatever, the hate on himself. But, like, mm -hmm. like I'm, like, I really, like, he's, like, a troll. Like, he, no, nothing he does is, like, taken seriously, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, I'm, like, but I'm, like, it, he is a very smart dude, though. I'm, like, he's a millionaire for a reason. It's not just, like, drama alert, you know what I mean? Like, he actually mm -hmm. invests his money into stuff. And that's what I want to do if I had money. <laughs> I was like, one day maybe, but like, not now. <laughs> My chicken nugget ass is, is uh, Dogecoin. Woo! <laughs> uh, um, yeah. you are, you're, so you're still in LA, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still in LA. Or My 100T contract, like, negotiations in, like, May. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, mm. I'm still in LA for now um how do you how do you like it out there is it is it everything that everyone you know puts it up to be uh okay so like i feel like it's unfair for me to judge only because as soon as we moved out here we were broke as hell so like we didn't really go out because they we we just got signed to 100 t and we didn't really have money to like spend like that mm -hmm. or like go out anywhere so we kind of just spent the first like half a year just kind of 
getting us situated in our new house and just like getting furniture like all our money went to like furniture and stuff yeah the and chairs. by the yeah the launches <laughs> and by the time it we were able to like do anything we moved here in september of 2019 and like i said it took like six months for us to get situated and right around like january february when we we're like we got a little bit of money like we've been we've been streaming a lot we, we've been working hard and as soon as we were about to like actually just like like try to like live in la lifestyle i guess like see what's up COVID hit and yeah. the last two years have been nothing literally like all house <laughs> and that's why i'm like i feel like it'd be super unfair for me to judge la because i have genuinely been to Z like it's as if i lived in fucking middle of <laughs> iowa of nowhere <laughs> like there's no difference of me living only um, only paying higher taxes and every <laughs> everything is just more expensive and gas is like five dollars and i'm like i'm like there's no other difference between me living here and like bubble fuck nowhere so i'm like it just sucks but recently very recently uh you know stuff has been opening up a little mm -hmm. bit um we i got invited to dinner by uh my you know the dude that made minecraft notch yeah so like his manager, uh, Kyle McCarthy, he, he we're pretty good friends with him, me and Avalanche. So he invited me, JHB team and Avalanche out to dinner. And it was like the most random thing. Like he's like, yeah, you know, like you guys want to go to dinner. A couple of my buddies are coming. Like, we'll just go to like a nice little restaurant. Like, I'm like, yeah, sure. We pull up to the restaurant for one. This is a top five restaurant in Los Angeles. So I look at the menu, chicken, chicken tenders, bro. Twenty five dollars. I'm oh like, oh my god. I'm I no. I'm like, five chicken tender. It's a <laughs> dude. Five dollars per chicken tender. I was looking at it. I'm like, thank God he's covering the meal. God damn. Oh my god. Uh, but no. And I'm like, I don't, we're just sitting there. And I'm like, oh damn. Like like this is this is a very nice place. And I looks like someone passes by. And I'm like, I'm like, damn. I like recognize him from somewhere. And then he sits at our table and. And I look, I'm like, dude, it's the, it's Carl from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Bro, I'm like. I did see that, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is Kyle's buddy? Like, he's like, yeah, I got a couple buddies joining us for dinner today. It's fucking Carl from The Walking Dead. And I'm like, dude, I, I grew up on Walking Dead. Like, in, in middle, like, middle school, high school, like, that's all I watched. Me and my best friend, we would, like wait for like every weekly episode to come out i'm like that show was amazing i kind of stopped watching around like season five six whatever but like still like that's huge i'm like that's who like we're having like just dinner with like and i'm like we were like talking the whole night and uh i don't know it was just like a pretty it was like a, like the whole dinner i was just like damn like this is really like this famous ass actor because like <laughs> everyone knows who he is like yeah. walking dead is isn't walking dead like top three television show ever yeah, or i mean whatever. it's like, got it's gotta be yeah Okay. I was like, they made like an insane. I'm pretty sure the walking one of the episodes holds the record for like the most like money made or something. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, it's just like a insanely big show. And I'm like, this is literally like one of the main characters. Like, this is the son of the main character. And I'm like, holy shit! Like, I was like just in there like in shock the whole dinner. I didn't like fanboy or anything like crazy. Like we uh, we had like a really good conversations and but like in the back of my head the mm -hmm. whole time I'm just like, damn. And then little do you know, we're we're sitting. And another, like, a dude passes us by to go to the bathroom. It's fucking Justin Bieber, bro. I was like, no, I'm like, I'm not even making it. I'm like, bro, what? <laughs> and I'm like, I was so shook. Obviously, like, we couldn't, like, even talk yeah, to him. Like, yeah. yeah, I was like, I was like, Kyle's friend, like, like was literally uh, Carl. But, like, Justin Bieber went to the bathroom. And me, I look at, I looked at JJB team. And, and the Avalanche looked at us. He's like, is that Justin Bieber? I'm like, yeah, I think so. And he walked back, like, from the bathroom. And he sat at his, like, table. And there's, like six seven people like just just sitting on the table like three people standing up near the table and i'm like i'm like and i look i'm like damn that's like really him like right there just sitting right next to us so i'm <laughs> like i was like i was like and the the craziest part of it all and avalanche like even made made like a point he's like if scooter braun was there and like i don't like uh -huh. i don't know how like much you know about 100 yeah. thieves but he's yeah. like a big investor in 100 yeah. thieves so like we actually know scooter like i get like we have his number and everything so i'm like i'm like if he was there, he's I was just like, dude, if Scooter Braun was there, we could have actually like yeah, like talked to him. Because like he he like we're actually friends with him. Like if we came to Justin Bieber, like, hey Justin, he'd be like, Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I know but, Scooter. Like, Scooter Braun, yeah, I was like, Yeah, I, I know Scooter. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and but if, if Scooter was there, like we could have actually like maybe like even got like a picture or something with him. Like mm -hmm. that would have been pretty cool. And I was like, damn, like that sucks. Like because like like he's like right there you know what i mean like and uh it was just kind of cool just to even like 
because i'm we've never had that really like happen just like us sitting in like such a high so like we've had like some celebrities like we were in a shake shack and like you know sean white the snowboarder <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah like he was in there and like uh avalanche got a picture with him like in a shake shack but like that's not really like a bro like that's justin bieber bro yeah, i was like that, that was insane oh, but man. yeah no yeah so we ended the night we walked out of the because like he came pretty late we walk out and there's like because when we came it was like empty we came at like 6 p.m to the restaurant and like he came around like 9 p.m 8 p.m so like when we walked out like from it being just empty there are like eight paparazzis <laughs> just like with like cameras and shit like just just standing outside the restaurant just waiting for him to come out and i'm like dude like jesus that's fucking insane <laughs> that's... there's like a lamborghini on the front and i'm like i'm like oh well <laughs> i'm like i wonder whose lambo that is <laughs> but no it, it was and that that just happened last week so i'm like i'm like it was just uh it was cool because like, i'm like I, I haven't went out in l in la since we've been here like really mm -hmm. like the, the closest i went was like a ucla bar where there's like fucking college kids and stuff like it was me sitting with the bartender and my two <laughs> friends like it wasn't anything crazy but like that that was the closest that i felt to like a la type thing you know what i mean mm -hmm. so that was pretty cool but besides that two years here that was that was the fucking highlight of my two years here <laughs> so mean, i can't really say i lived a, the la lifestyle. Not a bad highlight you know no for sure but i mean like you think <laughs> yeah. after like two uh -huh. years like yeah for like sure. with all the connections and like it, like you, you think that'd be like a cool moment but like nah yeah that was pretty much it so i can't really can't really judge it yet which sucks because i'm like i don't know i'm like i want to stay here longer post covid because i feel like the two years i've been here is like the worst two years you could possibly mm -hmm. be here so yeah. I'm like it, it just sucks that like i wasn't but we'll see what happens in like a couple months i guess uh going off off uh big celebrities what is there is there anyone in the gaming sphere that you've met that has like that has having like got you starstruck at all that has had yeah. you starstruck yeah mm, not really i'm like trying to think and i'm like I'm like everyone I've met in gaming is around like people just like mutuals, I guess. Like mm -hmm. like I don't know, like Tim, Courage, Lupo, they're all like they're like I never like I never sat next to Courage and was like, this is courage, yeah. JD. <laughs> I was just like, that's that's fucking courage, bro. Like <laughs> but um I'm trying to like really, really think because like maybe there is. Okay, well like does the pass count, I guess? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so for sure, yeah. Nature. I would say like nature and like hex, I guess, cause uh when we when I went to even before uh this was when we were still on sore I think like the mob was on sore mm -hmm. uh we went to Call of Duty Fort Worth CWL Fort Worth and mm -hmm. this was like in 2019 and that's when like I've never met like Hex or Nature or any that was a, this was our first event as the mob and like and like it was just like for one I think it's my favorite uh, favorite event ever because it was the first event we went to and like it was so like surreal because we walked in and they were like oh my god like can i get an auto or can we get a picture and i'm like we've never had that happen ever mm. before and it was our first event together so it just made it just that better and like in the event everyone was just like oh like like it's just cool because i'm like i went to one event before that and it was in 2018 like anaheim mm -hmm. so so I, I was like a nobody there like i literally like walked down like all these pro players and stuff and i was like this was when i literally had like a thousand twitter followers like i just got into twitter and I really just wanted to see what an event was like. And I was like, and people were like really nice. Like some of the, some of the pros, like, like I saw Scump in the bathroom and I was like geeking. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, that's Scump. And like, just like, that was actually when, um, I think Optic won 2018. I think that was IW. That was IW. 2018 or I think. I, 20... Whatever. I'm, I'm like a hundred percent sure Optic won that event. It was Anaheim of 2018. Whatever event that was, Scump won. I know Optic won. Because when I saw him in the bathroom, I was about to be like, congratulations on your win. <laughs> but I'm like, this dude just has his dick out peeing. So I'm like, I think I'm, I'm like, I'm like, I think I I think I should save that for when we're not, you know, like holding dicks. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know if that's like the best thing to say right now. So I'm like, you know, I'm good on that. So so yeah, so uh so that was like the highlight like i'm like i was a nobody at all so i was like it was like a thousand follower andy so i'm like uh it was just pretty cool seeing him like just in person or whatever mm -hmm. but then like the next event we went to it was like it was like 
he like came up to me and he's like oh like what's up like they knew who we were so i was like it was kind of cool you know yeah but uh but yeah the the star struck thing uh we went to like uh well see i was under 21 so uh, we went to the library (laughs) (laughs) it was actually funny because the 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 venue was called the library but like we uh and we drank a lot of water there (laughs) so so it was it was really dope because on the on the like on like the floor i guess so like we 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 bumped into each other and like we were just dancing and and uh drinking water all night like it was just it was it was pretty cool and it was like very very like dope because i'm like it was the first time like i even like met nate and hex and scump and like the mob guys were there and it was just like a very awesome night mm-hmm. and i motorboated some titties on that board i mean no uh, that that library <laughs> so <laughs> so it was it was pretty it was pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> like i really really enjoyed that that was like my favorite event so i was like it, it was dope <laughs> i wish i got oh. to experience the mlg anaheim you know that was that was the one event where everyone went to like from from at least my side of of twitter like the cod scene everyone went to mlg anaheim back then and like yeah, anaheim was like the event you yeah the to event be yeah and i was always like 13 14 years old like oh bro. I, could, yeah. I was like i'm not gonna have my mom go to a cod event with me <laughs> like anyone no, yeah. let me stay in the airbnb or what <laughs> <laughs> no it was it was kind of tough if you were kind of younger mm-hmm. that's why i was like dude i i'm sad i'm sad that i only got to experience like two or three events like that mm-hmm. because i'm like they had them for so many years up yeah. until uh and I'm like, and I feel even more more sad for people that will never get to experience those yeah. events because they were, they were some of like the best events like that like, like genuinely like like Fortnite events are cool and like these new events like whatever like are, are like dope but like those like old fashioned COD events were like they were just like, they were just wild like they were just like anyone could say anything they want like they were yeah. just like fucking crazy. There were, we had like COD pros girlfriends throwing water at like <laughs> other pros and stuff like there were like fights there were beefs there were, i was like oh my like that was like the the good old days and then now it's like you throw water at someone you're getting canceled <laughs> on like 10 different social medias i'm like oh back then everyone was just like they didn't give a fuck now yeah. everyone has to like watch what they say and stuff so yeah uh you mentioned sore that is uh that is um something that I'm, i don't know how many people know about that uh I bet there's yeah. qu- there's quite a bit, but I remember, I remember, w- th- is that when Avalanche did his face reveal, face reveal. on yep. the Mobcast? I remember mm-hmm. that. I remember, th- I didn't. I only knew who you were. That's the only one who I knew, and I was like, who who's this guy doing? A f-? That's when I found out about like pretty much everyone, uh, mm-hmm. everyone else, and I was like, I, I thought that was crazy because, uh, you know, you guys went from sword now now and or a year in 100 thieves uh yeah it was very uh there was no like middle ground because like sword is like kind of like a stepping stone type org and it or like it was like a really good org and uh they were awesome like for our first org and uh yeah no that that podcast or like that well because back then we had like mobcast like that face reveal podcast was insane we went from like we would average like 800 viewers per podcast and like his face reveal got like eighteen thousand viewers, and like so many people found us through that. And like we were just in there, like because like before the like as the podcast was starting, we had a like starting soon screen, and we were looking at the number. It was like it started off like it spawned in with like two thousand. We're like, oh my god, <laughs> this is the craziest one we ever had, like two thousand viewers. And we just see it go like every five minutes, like two thousand to four thousand to eight thousand mm-hmm. to ten thousand. I'm like, we broke ten thousand, and then boom, it breaks fifteen thousand. We're just sitting there. And keep in mind, we're not even live yet. The countdown is happening. So, like, we're at 15,000 viewers pre-countdown. And I'm just sitting here, like, where the fuck did all these people come from? Like, it was just such, like, a such a crazy night. And it just went, like, so fucking great. And, like, that was, like, when Avalanche did his face reveal. Everyone was, like, oh, like, everyone got hype about it. Because no one knew what he looked like for years. And he was, like, the OG COD kid of Twitter. Like, he literally had his account, like, longer than some of, like, the pros of COD. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was, it was kind of cool to see. Like, he's had us in, like, 2013 or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, no, that was, like, a really dope, dope stream. And then after, yeah, and kind of, like, that's the thing at Fort Worth that I just mentioned. I'm, like, oh, why I even got, like, Starstruck or anything. Like, that's where Nate shot, like, kind of, like, huddled us up. And he's, like, I want you guys to join 100 Thieves. And we were, like, 
Oh, was really? Like, what? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, it was after. Because we got announced that t- two months later. Fort Worth is, was in um, March of 2019. And uh, we got announced in June of 2019. So, like, at Fort Worth, he was like, I want you guys to move out here. We're announced Because, like, no one at the time knew, but they were announcing Courage. Uh, like, a week after Fort Worth. So, they were like, we're announcing Courage. We got Courage. And he's like, I want you guys to be on the work, too. So, like, we literally joined it right after Courage. So I'm like, and I'm like, I looked at 100 Thieves now, and there's so many like new creators on it. And I'm like, we really are like kind of like OGs of the org, like us, Courage, Valkyrie, Noah J. And I'm like, I don't really know anyone who's like older, I guess. Yeah, I would say so, so too. Yeah, I'm like, there's like a lot of new creators that are on it now. And I'm like, it's just kind of cool to just kind of be like, yeah, like we've been here for like two years, the last two years kind of saw the come up of the org. So yeah, yeah it was that's, pretty nice. That's really dope. I think it's like, it, I mean, like coming from from where you guys did to to where you are now is like, it's super sick to to be able to watch something like that happen, especially because like I have one my best friend and that I met online was like I, I don't know if he was in Soar at the time I don't know if you know Soar Days yeah 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 uh, V Days okay. yeah he's yeah. You know, he's the, one of the only people that I've ever met IRL from this. And he's my best friend in the whole wide world that I met through this. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's, it's really dope. Um, like, This whole internet thing is is real and it's super sick. No, it is. It is. It's very like, I don't know. As time just goes by, like, in my opinion, I'm like, as long as you, like, work hard and just, like, prove to people that, you know, like, you got what it takes to be on a level that it takes i'm like because we've done some really cool things like since we've been in la and i'm like obviously like the whole mob thing like breaking up like no one really had an effect like no one knew saw that coming it's like uh no one really like knew mako was not really like into it as much as we mm-hmm. thought so i'm like that's just like uh that's just like a factor that, like no one really accounted for but like we had some really really good times like as a group if that makes sense mm-hmm. so i'm like it was definitely not like like some people would be like oh like you guys just wasted like this this i'm like it was definitely not a waste i'm like we got to where we got because of the group like no one would even know who we are like who i am for example if it wasn't for the group like realistically at all yeah so it's nice how do you how do you feel about content houses or like like do you do you like that atmosphere because i feel like it's not definitely not made for everyone but uh, i mean i've never done it so i think it's definitely not made for everyone but i i like I thrive off content houses. I think with the right house, like old, old, uh, old optic house, optic scuff mansion, or like the, mm. the original face house. I think if like all the people in the house want to make content, like they have like just really good ideas. I think the house could be like fucking amazing for like mm-hmm. con- right now, in my opinion, the best content house is OT, uh, OTK miss Gift's house. Oh yeah. I'm like, they're oh, always yeah. live. They're always just chatting. I'm pretty sure if you go on Twitch right now, he'll, he'll probably be live, uh, with just like a just chatting stream or something. And I'm like, I'm like, their 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 house is just like pure content. Like everyone wants to make content there, and they're just grinders. Like they like, I don't know. And I'm like, they they post like a lot of YouTube videos, Twitch streams, whatever, and just different random content. Like one day they're doing a puzzle, the other day they're in the cook cooking mm-hmm. in in the kitchen, and another day they're like building a PC or something. I'm like, that's just like to me, like that's so dope. Like I wish someone came to into my room every day and was like, yo, let's do this or like let's do that. Like that that's cool. But I'm like, honestly, like just in, in kind of like in the mob house, we haven't really had like much of that. So I'm like, I think in the right atmosphere, it, it would be like a really dope, like I love, I love like team houses in general. Yeah. I'm like, I think it's really cool. I think, I think I, I definitely feel the same way when it comes to like, I really want someone, cause if someone came into my room and, and said something like that, or like. I knew they were streaming or I knew they were making a video or something like it would be like, why am I laying in bed right now? Or something like that. It would get me up and get me going. Uh, Mm -hmm. And I I just feel like it's like a motivator all around. If everyone's working, like, like I'm sure there's, I'm sure that's just motivation. Like in the Miskiff's house that just everyone's grinding. So like, why is anyone going to slack off or stop? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, for sure. I was like, it's just like you i just know they're gonna do really good in that house you know what mm-hmm. i mean yeah i mean miss kiff is just i i he's one of my favorite streamers he's so funny dude is is crazy um yeah hypothetical question 
uh, and then we'll we'll get this podcast wrapped up. If you could invest in a creator right now, what creator would you invest in and why? Uh, like a smaller creator to like I mean yeah like kind of like blow up type yeah. beat. Hmm. It could be a friend or someone that you. Just... No, yeah, I'm like I'm like genuinely trying to think. Cause I have like a couple, but like yeah, I mean you can give for, me multiple for one. Huh? Yeah, for one like Frosty, I think he's gonna be like the next XCC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like his streams are just always always funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but like I think I think he's gonna just like I, I, I think he's straight content, but I think he needs to push for like consistency if that makes sense. But like once he gets that, it's just like over. Like he he's he's gonna blow up, become like a five thousand average, ten thousand average, whatever streamer, and um. Honestly, just anyone that's just like putting unique content up, I'm like, I think they can blow up. I was like, I think that's like what lacks in Twitch. Like everyone's playing like Valorant or like like I get this question the most. And I'm like, I don't know why people ask me. Like I average like thousands of viewers. I average like 200 viewers. I don't know why like people ask me for it. But I'm like, they're like, oh, like how do you get your stream to like blow up or like how do you like do this or that? And I'm like, dude, just be unique. Like just do stuff that like a lot of people aren't doing. Like everyone's playing Valorant. You playing Valorant in your what silver division like that's not you know what i mean like that's not unique that's not gonna bring in viewers like it's gonna it's gonna be the same thing that everyone's doing everyone's playing warzone you playing warzone as unless you're a god at the game and you're dropping like 50 kills like you're the shroud of warzone or shroud of valorant no one's gonna watch you for for just average gameplay like try to do something unique like with it you know what i mean like try to do like uh i don't know maybe gather some friends and do like a oh pistol only type yeah. like yeah so like mm-hmm. something something that puts you aside from every single other like person there there's hundreds of people that are doing exactly what you're doing so like what makes you different you know what i mean i'm like unless you're already like big or whatever i'm like it's not so i'm like the i think like smaller creators really do need to like try to distinguish themselves more from like everyone else and like what they're putting out if that makes sense mm-hmm. people ask me as well that same question and i'm like if you if you have an answer let me know because i have no idea how to blow up (laughs) it's like no literally how do you get your twitch i don't know i don't know i average (laughs) i average 10 viewers so (laughs) no literally but i'm like hey at least uh at least you know that you're like help like there's always gonna be someone that's why i'm like i wish i had someone bigger than me that like is like here do this do that i'm like Mm -hmm. that would be so awesome just for them to like give me like advice but like i said i'm like hey we learn on our own and then that mm-hmm. way then you're like well i did this myself type thing yeah i think another thing going on advice real quick is like a lot of like a lot of people do this for so long um like i've been doing it for a really long time and i've been i haven't seen like exponential growth but i just i know if i keep pushing i just keep doing it like mm-hmm. you just gotta sometimes it might take a long time and i mean at least i hope i hope i'm not doing it for nothing but I, i'll i'm still i'm still grinding and i i just want to let people know that no one has success overnight i think you could attest to seeing so many people just grind and then finally hit yeah. that hit their stride and they're mm-hmm. on the ground running so that's been like the hardest thing for me personally. I'm like, dude, I've been streaming since like 2018. Like 2018, I, I really like started like like mm-hmm. really trying. And I'm like, people like don't realize like I was averaging like five to 10 viewers for months. And then I was like 15 viewers for months. And then like 20, 25, it's, so, it's a very slow like, like come up. It took me like, I think it took me like five months to even average like just enough for 75 to get partnered. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm like, it, it is like, it's a grind. I don't know. So, and and I, I, like one thing that bothers me is like they see their friends like do let's just say like I've been doing this for like a year and a half and then they see their friend like just start streaming now and they've had like some success. Boom. They average more than them. Like they like I average like 50 and then they start averaging 100. And I'm like you can't compare yourself to them because even though they just started they might have gotten this or this. Like there's so many other factors that are involved. I'm like just like focus on yourself and like try to like make that look on your side i guess if that makes sense Mm -hmm. but i'm like it's super it it is super like challenging to like grow like for me just that's been the thing like average viewers because i'm like now i'm around like the 200 mark around there but i'm like that's like literally from 2018 so it's like the last three years i've been like i'm like there's so many people i know now that are at the 500 viewer mark and they're just trying to push for that thousand 
Mm-hmm. Like, like it's super hard. Like it just takes like a lot of time. And there's people that are averaging a thousand and they're thinking like, damn, how do I become this 5,000 yeah. like viewer? You know what I mean? There's always going to be more up, up, up. Like, unless you're like literally XGC who goes live and averages like 60, 70, 80,000 viewers. Like there's no, there's always like a ceiling that you could break, like do something to gain more viewers or like to try to like average more viewers. And like, it's hard. It's like, it takes a lot of time. Like personally speaking, I'm like, it's just been like very fucking tough. Like I could be making tweets that are viral or like, I could be like my TikTok, I have like a million followers, but I'm like on Twitch to average more viewers. It, it is like pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, I think I saw a stat that was like, if you average more than 15 viewers, it's like your top 1% of Twitch. Cause yeah. like you could just go through any category and there's so many people that just have zero one viewer like there's so many people i mm-hmm. th- i just think people need to realize that like it's not it's not y- you're different than like someone else mm-hmm. you don't have to compare like just you know stay in your own lane and and grind that out because a lot of people compare i mean i've compared before you know like it's yeah, just for sure it's just something it's a like bad habit that people gotta break yeah and then a lot of people like don't I don't, I compare, but I don't compare in a bad way. And a lot mm-hmm. of people see it as like, I was like, there's always like a difference between looking at someone and they inspire you to be better. They yeah. like, you look at them and you want to be like them. But then like a lot of people look at it as like jealousy. I'm like, it's so like two different things. It's like, it's like you see them and you're like, how do I become like them? How do I like do this like them? Because obviously what they're doing is like good. So like they like inspire you to be better. But like to other people, they might just be like, oh, like you just want to like, I, I even told this um, to my teammate Frosty. I was like, dude, like you you average like 700 viewers. I'm like, dude, one day I want to do that. Like, like I try to like see what he does good or like, like, like cause I'm like, I'm like, he, he's just straight content. Like he inspires me to be like a better streamer. And I'm like, I try to like either just like try to like be as productive as he is in that aspect. And I'm like, it's not like me just being like, why does he average more viewers? I mean, it's mm-hmm. just me like trying to like see like what he's doing. That's right. And like, trying to apply that to my own content as like every i don't know content creator should i guess yeah like it's there i think unhealthy jealousy versus healthy jealousy is like a, a, a actual thing that 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 there's differences there like you don't want frosty to fall like you don't want him to no yeah was yeah like, but like you yeah i get what you mean i think it's yeah it's like if anything like i want to be like him if that makes sense like yeah. or like like someone who's like I like doing like really dope with their community and averaging like a lot. Mm-hmm. I have like a few idols like that. Like, um, I don't know if you know, saving the bees. Mm. No, I don't. Have you heard so. of him? Yeah. I was like, he's, he's like also another streamer and he's also like someone I, I like look up to in, in wise of community slash just stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's super so, dope. Yeah. All right. Well, I think, I think we're good on the, I think we touched everything we need to. I, I, Greatly, greatly appreciate you coming on. It's yeah, fun having sure. you. No, this um, was really dope. Thanks for having me. Yep, no problem. Uh, make sure you guys, you know, check out Classify. He will be linked in the description, but I'm sure you already know know about him. Um, yeah. Uh, anything else you you want to say? Yeah. How How are you? How was your day? <laughs> did you Did you enjoy this podcast? I I did. I <laughs> thoroughly did. Um. I had a pretty good day. I mean, I woke up like right before the podcast, but I had a pretty good day. <laughs> no, I'm glad. I was like, this was really fun. I learned a lot of new stuff today. No cap, no cap. No, I love podcasts personally. I'm like, it's always because I'm like, especially even though you said you're like, oh, like you don't really know much about me. So you explain like stuff about yourself. And I'm like, I'm like, I like that because I would rather not know the person because you learn new stuff about him, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, you didn't know there was a dead body under these sheets over there. You know what I mean? Like, you, know, you just didn't know that, but, like, it, there is. I thought it was... I actually got a pretty good giggle when you uh, when you said, let me clean up my room to make it look a little more presentable. I was like, ah, oh, he's cleaning up for the podcast. I did, I did. This bed was not... It's bad looking, but it wasn't as bad looking. It was, like, undone and stuff. And, like, there was, like, stuff in the background. I think... I, I remember seeing a lot of uh, like screenshots and stuff of a frosty setup. Can oh, you bro. can you can you touch on if that if that was as bad as it seemed it, in the photos? <laughs> I show you not. Right now, there is a cup full of worms. 
Why? And the wor <laughs> the worms are bacteria that turned into maggots. Oh no! Somewhere in his room, and I chose to close the door, and I, I, uh, I pretend like I don't see it. Oh my god! I I walked in to change the temperature in the house. I saw it, and I'm like, you know, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see it. Uh -huh. I was like, that's a that's a frosty issue now. Oh my gosh, that is that is terrible. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, oh man. Okay, that's a good note to end on. I appreciate you guys <laughs> listening to the podcast. Uh, make sure you check out Classify, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace. Hey, make sure you drop a like and sub to the channel if you're new. Bop. <laughs>